Uh, sure. I don't mind. This is going to take about another five minutes and I should be done. Okay, so last week I had a giveaway about uh, giving a free portrait away. And I did it on Instagram and today I am going to fulfill that by painting two people because only two people entered. So here we go. I'm about to start this painting over here. Sometimes I just look at the background. This is the beginning part of the painting and I just look at it. I don't really start it, I just look at it for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes 5. And I just let ideas happen. I don't really dwell in it too much and then ideas pop in my head. And then I start. Okay, here we go. This is a project called The Creative Process where I show you what I do and how I do it. So right now, as you can see, I'm doing the background and uh, this is a, a technique that my old high school teacher taught me how to do is before you start painting, just put something down. Put something down in the background so you can see it. And then now I'm going into the sketching part of uh, the face and uh, I use a mechanical pencil, nothing too crazy and then I use like a kneaded eraser. And uh, an important part of painting, you gotta know your materials. Um, so I use gambling paints. I love gambling paints. Coffee is a really good stimulant. It keeps me awake, keeps me going. And paintbrushes, you gotta know your paintbrushes. I don't know which ones to recommend. I've had these since high school. And I use, but you should know the different sizes. Sizes make a big uh, difference. You can see like different brush strokes that I make, especially with like skin tone that I'm trying to lay down now. And then with the eyes, I usually use uh, something smaller. Um, and then in the face, I usually use uh, bigger strokes. As you can tell here, I take a break and I drink coffee and I stare at it for a while. I don't try to do anything else. Um, sometimes I notice that uh, I move around in the painting. That's because it's not dry yet, so I like to let it dry. Stack colors on top of other colors. It's not necessarily the greatest idea when you're using oils because sometimes when you use oils, it uh, blends in with each other. But for the most part, um, you could kind of go on top of each other, even though oils take a long time to dry. That undertone. My painting dropped. So you should never leave it on the edge. Lesson learned. Don't uh, leave the painting on the edge. And so yeah, so the background actually is uh, acrylic. The, the yellow that I laid down and then the uh, turquoise and the brown. And right now I'm doing the lips. So when I do these things, I use a certain type of, uh, the width of the brush is very particular to like what I'm trying to do in the details or if I'm just trying to make certain brush strokes on the face. So like right now, I'm just using like a medium sized brush, nothing too big. Now with the eyes, I go a little thinner. And the background, like, a lot of people don't really think about the background. I think about it a lot sometimes. I like it to be more transparent. It's something I wish I did a little bit more. Um, so the last part of like the details you add in the last minute. But so yeah, like the background is something that I really want to focus on more. And so what I probably will do the next time is dilute some of the, um, the paint, make it a little thinner, so it can be a little bit more transparent. And that's pretty much the creative process of how I uh, make a portrait. Thanks for watching, enjoy.